was the number one reason for me being successful. And we are live. Welcome back to the Rosabeth Poon Motivation Podcast. My name is Michaela Rosabeth, and on this podcast, I share vulnerable, humiliating, humorous, and overall great, amazing stories on my self help journey with the goal to help you find success on yours. Thank you for showing up for this podcast. It's episode three. I am very excited to talk about today's lesson that I learned because it genuinely was the number one reason for me being successful. And that reason is that I found it okay to feel discomfort. Hold up. What does that even mean? (laughs) Well, glad that that thought came to your mind, Michaela, because I'm going to answer that question the truth right what's the truth discomfort is a rough feeling that you feel or at least i felt whenever i was changing and growing into my own self-help world into my self-help journey as soon as i realized that i definitely wanted some kind of help i started feeling an immense feeling of discomfort my body like my entire body was like no we are not doing this. I am not changing. This is very uncomfortable. I'm not having a good time. And it was literally like I was going into a fit. My body was really angry. My mind was really angry. The discomfort was taking over my body. And I wish that I learned this lesson a lot sooner because it would have saved me a lot. The lesson is that discomfort is a feeling that is there to show you what you need to do. Right, how did I learn this lesson? So as the story goes, I was in college, right? That was the first episode. I was in college going through a bunch of changes and I had to make the biggest change of all, which was cutting out people from my old life and growing into who I wanna be because I simply understood that unfortunately these people around me are not going to lead me to my success. Knowing this and creating this choice and doing this action was held off for absolutely too long because the feeling of discomfort wanted me to stay in this perpetual cycle of rough, 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 energy just a rough time rough being rough everything and discomfort showed me that hey this situation this person these things this diploma this degree everything here isn't supposed to make you feel uncomfortable so work through it and I was forced to I forced myself because I have the choice of power right So I forced myself to do the very uncomfortable things that were needed in my life. And doing uncomfortable things is something that everybody will have to go through. And the reason that I'm teaching this and telling you this story very first off in the podcast is because it is critical for you to understand. You will feel discomfort trying new things excuse me you'll find discomfort doing everything that is new to you you're gonna find discomfort when you're talking about your likes you're gonna talk about your dislikes and you're gonna find discomfort doing that as well you're going to feel uncomfortable becoming this new version of you just as i did me i was so uncomfortable i couldn't look in the mirror I couldn't have a conversation with people that I absolutely needed to have because of this discomfort. As soon as I realized that discomfort is just showing me what I need to do, I flipped a switch. I was like, oh my goodness. This situation of me breaking off with these people is incredibly uncomfortable. I need to do it. Why do I need to do it? Because they're not healthy for me. 
discomfort showed me that it is a feeling when I need to focus and actually take a step back and look at the situation. I'm feeling uncomfortability about going out. Okay, why? Why? Why am I uncomfortable about going out? Oh, well, I'm uncomfortable about going out because I feel like my body doesn't look good in this outfit. Okay, let's explore that a little more. It's like discomfort is a pathway to showing you what you want to help for yourself. And through following these paths and realizing, right, that discomfort is here for you, slowly but surely, your discomfort starts to go away because you begin doing uncomfortable things more and more and more. Here's a further example to further the story. I'm in college. I finally chose the college that I wanted to go to, the one in the city from the second episode, right? Well, when I realized that nothing that I liked was going on, I felt this immense, uncomfortable dread. My depression spiked. I felt so sad. I felt like the world was going to end because now what I have chosen in my life wasn't working. I was so uncomfortable with everything that what it forced me to do was look at my life and realize that I'm uncomfortable with my entire life. Nothing that I like and nothing that is going on, I'm enjoying this is uncomfortable everything about this is uncomfortable so i need to change it and then i started going through the change right i decided i wanted to drop out of this university and take some time for myself and find my likes that is so uncomfortable the whole entire universe of society that i grew up in was like you have to get your degree first no ifs ands or buts me facing my entire society and stating like listen, I am not doing this because I am uncomfortable and I don't like it, was one of the most powering things that I've ever done because it forced me to actually take a look at my life and say, no, this is what I want. This is uncomfortable for me and I choose to relieve that uncomfortability. I will no longer let this stand and I'm going to do what I want. All of a sudden, right? I decided this is what I want. I dropped out of university, uh, all the seven schools I went to, okay, cool, or not went to, <laughs> got accepted into, all the seven schools I got accepted into, no longer options, right? I was so uncomfortable because now I'm a college dropout, and what am I going to do? I am so uncomfortable with my entire life, now it's worse, oh my gosh, what did I do? Holy crap, well this is more uncomfortable. This is a more uncomfortable feeling. There's more here. So then I started asking, why am I uncomfortable? Well, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to be? How am I going to succeed? Okay, well, I've already figured out what I like. Why don't I, why don't I start going and doing things that I enjoy? And maybe I'll meet new people. Maybe I'll find a new passion. Maybe I'll find something amazing out of this uncomfortability. So I asked myself, what if I just push myself into this uncomfortable situation of me trying new things that I know that I enjoy, part of anyways, and what, what happened? You know what happened? Discomfort led me to my success because I followed the uncomfortability. I asked it why. I wondered what was going on within me that made me so uncomfortable. And I found the Blue Ridge School of Herbal Medicine. I began studying herbalism and plants and plant medicine and the body and so forth, so forth, so forth, blah, 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 right? Grew my success from me facing this uncomfortability. And now, when I feel uncomfortable and when this feeling arises, I understand that the lesson all along was just for me to look at it and ask it why, because it can help me to get to my success. And I know that you asking your own uncomfortability why will help you lead to yours too. It's not something to fear. It's something that will arise as you continue to help yourself in the self-help journey. 
as you continue to heal your mind, your body, you believe in a spirit when you continue to heal that as well, right? You believe in that. Once you decide, hey, this uncomfortability is just a side effect and it won't last forever, I promise you, your entire life will change, become better, you'll begin helping yourself, and inevitably you'll find your success. I hope to keep going with you on your self-help and success journey every single weekday. There's going to be a weekend break because it is the weekend. So I look forward to hearing about some uncomfortable situations that you've been through. Leave them in the comments below. Please let me know. Feel free to look at my website, my blog. I have more self-help resources on there called rosabethmoon.com. The moon has three O's in it, just like the podcast. My name again is Michaela Rosabeth. Remember, you have the power of choice. You can decide that your uncomfortability is actually something leading you to the better. And I believe in you to do it. I hope you all have a great and wonderful weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Bye, guys.